Hey everyone, so today we're taking a look at a charger that can charge your MacBook Pro but can fit in the palm of your hand. Not this one, but this one. Let's dive in. So this is the Xyron Gallium Nitride 65 Watt Charger. Now what makes this so special? What does 65 Watt even mean? Well here on the left I have an Apple MacBook Pro charger for the smaller 13 inch MacBook Pro, but this massive thing can only supply 61 watts peak output. Whereas this one, which is the size of like a phone charger, can supply up to 65 watts out of this tiny thing here. Not only that, it has three outputs. So if you are charging one device for USB-C, it can deliver the full 65 watts. If you use the other ports as well, it will split the power between the three, but in total, it can supply a maximum of 65 watts. And just like the Apple chargers, the charging prongs have a nice place to fold when they're not in use. So this is when they're extended, that's when they're folded, just like the Apple ones. So you can take this and put it in your pocket and travel with it very, very easily. The package is very, very slim. So if you're not located in the US and these prongs don't work for your country, that's okay. Xyron have several adapters that also work with the charger. Now these just kind of slip on, so you just put it into the closed position and then you grab one of these adapters and it basically just slides right on like so. And now this charger can be used with an Australian plug. When you first plug this in, you'll have a nice charging LED which shows up in this spot here. So let's plug that in now. So as soon as you plug it in, you see that a LED lights up at the bottom here. That's to indicate that the charger is getting power. All right, let's do a quick charging test. So I have a USB-C to C cable here and I have my phone. Let's plug this in. And straight away, it says charging rapidly. So that means this supports power delivery and will do fast charging for your relevant phones. So a phone doesn't use that much power. Let's try something a bit more beefier. I have an iPad Pro here, so let's plug that in. See how that goes. Boom, it says charging. So yes, it will charge your iPad. All right, so iPads are too easy. Let's check out a MacBook Pro. So this is the 13 inch MacBook Pro. Uh, cable is plugged into this Xyron charger here. And right now it says it's not connected and not charging the MacBook Pro. So let's plug that in and I'll just refresh this page. And boom, it says connected, yes. Wattage at 60, it's not charging yet, but let's see. Refresh it a few more times. And then there it is, charging, yes. So this tiny charger is able to charge a 13 inch MacBook Pro at the highest watt it can actually accept. So that's pretty impressive. All right, this is time for the ultimate test. Can it charge two MacBooks, a 15 inch MacBook Pro, a 13 inch MacBook Pro, and an iPad? So let's try it. We're gonna start by plugging in the 15 inch MacBook Pro to the Xyron charger over here. Uh, I assure you the cable is connected, I just can't get it on camera. So plugging that in first, that's plugged in, and that says yes, connected. Next, we're gonna plug in the 13 inch MacBook Pro, plug that in, and then we're gonna refresh this. So yes, it is connected. Notice it says 30 watts, so let's refresh the MacBook Pro here. And yes, it says 30 watts as well, so the power has been split between the two of them. Now, finally, I have this black USB-C cable, and we're gonna plug this into the iPad and see what happens. And it looks like it's not working. I mean, I'm not surprised. This tiny thing is already able to charge a MacBook. Charging all three devices may be a bit too much, but let's refresh this. So 30 watts, yes, charging. Uh, 30 watts, yes, charging. So the MacBooks are charging at a slower 30 watts. The iPad, however, is not charging at the moment. Let me take a look. Oh, actually, it is charging. It is charging. So it might be charging at a slightly slower rate because this can do max 65 and this is sending 30 to the MacBook Pro 13 and then 30 to the MacBook Pro 15. So I'm guessing this is maybe just five watts. So not a lot of power going to the iPad, but let's quickly try a phone and see what that says. So we have a phone here. So it does say charging, 
but not rapid charging. So this means the power is definitely being split, uh, but still very impressive. This tiny charger here is charging two computers and a phone. Very, very impressive. So in this kind of extreme scenario where I'm charging two computers, uh, a phone or an iPad, it's unlikely that the computers will be able to remain fully charged when they're in use. But if you're doing overnight charging, you can definitely charge all three devices from this tiny charger as long as the computers are not you know, being actively used. So I have thought of one last thing to try. Does the Xyron charger work with the Nintendo Switch? Now the Switch is very notorious for being very you know, finicky when it comes to what charger it'll accept, especially in dock mode. So normally you have to use the provided Nintendo charger for the Switch to work in dock mode. So I have hooked up the Xyron charger right now to the dock and we're gonna plop the Switch onto the dock to see if it will work on the TV. So let me just turn it on. There it is. So I wanna plop it on the dock now. And as you can see, it's going to dock mode and it actually appears on the TV almost immediately. So that's very impressive. Uh, most chargers, most third party chargers don't work with the switch. So I'm actually very impressed with this Xyron Gallium Nitride charger. Um, not only is it tiny, look, look at this compared to a, a phone charger. It's almost the same size as a phone charger, uh, but it can charge two laptops and it is smaller than a MacBook Pro charger. This is really impressive. Uh, the most impressive thing for me was that it actually works on a switch, which uh, most chargers don't actually work with. So yeah, I'm very, very surprised with this Xyron charger. I'm definitely impressed with it. Uh, and if you're interested in this, uh, check out the links in the description. So I hope this was useful and thanks for watching.